Good evening from Disney Springs. We're here on a Sunday night. We are hoping to try out Wolfgang Puck's Bar and Grill, which just opened last week. They don't take reservations. So. They do take reservations. There oh. just weren't any left. Oh, so it's probably going to be busy. Right. Yeah. So if that doesn't work out, we're at Disney Springs. Yeah. So we can go literally anywhere. There's so many choices. Let's go check it out. We're going to have an adventure at Disney Springs tonight. Yeah. Ooh, do you hear it? There's like a party going on at Disney Springs. It's kind of nice out here tonight and cool and party atmosphere and people everywhere. It's gonna be a good night. This is where we're heading and it actually does not look very busy at all. Like compared to Chicken Guy across the way, there's people everywhere. Over here, not very many people. Also, there's a gelato bar here. I had no idea there was a gelato bar. So I just walked up and they said it'll be a 10 to 15 minute wait. While we're waiting, here is the gelato bar menu. All different kinds of gelatos and toppings. And they also have cold drinks and hot drinks. Oh, and they've got adult drinks too. I'll have you know that they lied. That was not 10 to 15 minutes. That was like two to four minutes. We were inside of Sugar Boots and they, uh, they called like immediately. So yeah. we have to go back to Sugar Boots. This is nice. This is real fancy. Whoa, what is that thing? Is that a pizza oven? I kind of want a pizza tonight then. All kinds of wine coolers and stuff. Look at this fancy lamp in here or chandelier. Ooh. They're put, oh look, we can see into the kitchen back there and everything. Yeah, and now we're sitting here at this table. Hello. <laughs> so we made it right in and here is the menu. Oh, an artisanal salumi platter. What is that? Oh my goodness, chicken schnitzel. What am I gonna have? Ooh, you guys know I like a good burger. Oh, and it comes with white cheddar. Ooh, but I'm not gonna get that. I'm gonna get this New York strip right here. I like that they have a porterhouse for two. Hey girl, hey. you wanna share a steak with me? Are you gonna get the big steak? Or no, I'm gonna get the little one. I was just asking. I thought it'd be funny if we like lady and tramped a giant steak. That wouldn't be as romantic as like a noodle. Oh. It's just like a hunk of meat in between us. That sounds pretty romantic. <laughs> when I was filming the menu, I kind of glossed over the fact that they have a shrimp pizza. What? I've never seen a shrimp pizza. Here's my question. So there's pictures of like, this This is Wolfgang Puck over here on the wall. Are all of the rest of the pictures Wolfgang Puck? I think they might be. What about over here? Is that him on that picture too? I really like the architecture in here and Jen was pointing out this door here. It's like these gigantic doors hanging from the ceiling that can slide back and forth to change the way the room is laid out. They brought over the beer and cocktail menu and I like that all of their craft beers are not called craft beers, they're called artisanal beers. <laughs> That's really fun. But these are all specialty craft cocktails and they said that they have cocktails that are approachable by anybody. That was the, the terminology she used. One thing we noticed is that they don't really have a huge selection of wine. It seems like they just have sangria made with red wine or white wine. If I could give you guys any bit of advice, it's that always check and see if there's two pages for a menu. Because we're like, there's no wines. There is an entire... Uh, to get you started. Whoa. Oh, thank you. Yeah, Look at that. My name is Joe. Let me know if there's anything you need. I'm happy to help you. Thank, thank you. you so uh, the second page is all wines. So here's the different wines by the glass. And then the rest of them are all wines by the bottle. You get some nice Dom Perignon by the bottle over here. <laughs> are you like really fancy? How much is it? I just saw, I just saw the name of it. And then I, I lost it. Oh, here it is. $395 for the bottle. Uh, it must be like half price. I think it's like 90 bucks for the bottle. Also, they have some Wolfgang Puck wines. So he brought us out some focaccia and some, is this like olive oil? It looks pretty good. What do you think? I, well, I was just waiting for you so I could eat some. Oh. <laughs> you know what this is? What? This is like a much better, you know Carabas? Yeah. This is like Carabas, but like way better. Oh. It's like fancy carabas. Yeah. Nice. Here's a close up of the bread. It's the focaccia, I think it's rosemary focaccia bread. I believe there's like rosemary baked into the bread. And then there's a little bit of olive oil on the side there. 
And I will say that this is so salty, and I love that. Like, if you don't love salty, you won't love this bread, but I love it. It's so good. Also, we can't quite figure out what happened because this is an appetizer that we didn't order. It just showed up at the table. The magical bread fairy said, here, have some free bread. <laughs> this is our appetizer that we ordered. It is the, sal what was it called? The salami? Salumi. Salumi. It was the salumi platter. Yeah. And he told us all the names of everything. All I got was soprasetta, prosciutto, and then some other stuff. <laughs> and then these are special olives. And this was ricotta. And then marinated vegetables. Whoa. It all sounds very delicious. Jen ordered a glass of wine and they brought her a bucket. Look at this thing, hold it up next to your head. Holy cow. <laughs> so our server recommended this. This is the Dow Cabernet. It smells very whiny. <laughs> okay, so here's how you know when a wine is like actually a good wine is when you don't need to aerate it to make it taste good. Unless they've already aerated it. But this tastes so good. Yeah? Like, very smooth. He said it was a very smooth wine and he was right. It tastes like this goes right down. You know? oh. No. No problem at all. That's why they brought it to you in a bucket. <laughs> I'll use that later. So we've only had our appetizers and I'm thoroughly satisfied with this restaurant. That's good bread. Those are good meats. Those are good olives. That's good bread. I just, what do you think of it? Is that good wine? Yeah, this is good stuff. Where's Wolfgang? Call him up. I want to tell him I like his place. But this is like, I think a really nice date spot too. Yeah. Because it's, it's like quiet, it's still fun. It's so loud in here. Is it? Yeah. But I feel like I can still hear you. What? <laughs> I will tell you guys, the olives are still pitted, so. Oh no. They you know get pitted, <laughs> yeah. Smoocha out. <laughs> My favorite combination for this salumi platter has been this prosciutto with the ricotta on the bread. And the bread almost, no, oh no. The bread almost tastes like popcorn. The bread's been pan fried in olive oil, mm -hmm. and so it gives it like a different taste. It's a very strong flavored bread. But I like it. It's yeah. almost like nutty flavored in a way. So you can see they, they bake the bread and then they cut it, and then they fry it up in a pan. And it really like, I don't know, it just tastes so delicious. So I recommend the ricotta and the prosciutto on the bread. So good. We made a pretty good dent in our bread, cheese, meat thing. You know how we do. We always like to point out something about the restaurant that's not necessarily the food. This little lip on the underside of the table makes it hard for you to cross your legs or anything like that when you're eating dinner. Because it comes down just a little bit too far. And that has been your overly critical look at the tables of Wolfgang Pucks. Wolfgang! <laughs> when we were looking at the menu, our waitress came over and like, told us about the restaurant. And one of the things she said is that one of the things on the menu is the salmon pizza. And this is supposedly the thing that like gave Wolfgang Puck his start. Well, I don't know if it was, I don't know if that gave him a start, but it was like a big deal in one of his restaurants. No, it, she like, said it was the big deal in his first restaurant. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. And it was served at the governor's ball multiple times. Wow. Which governor? Maybe the governor, is Wolfgang Huss from Florida? I don't know. It's a good question. <laughs> I wanted to show you guys the bathroom. It's very nice, except for this part. What is going on here? I guess if you stick your hand underneath here, there's a hand dryer. And there's towels here. Yes. And yes, this looks so delicious. It came with steak fries, or steak frites, and this looks awesome. This looks so good. I don't remember what the little butter on it is, but I'm all for it. And what did you get again? I got the red snapper, and it has like clams and mussels and other things. Wow. Yeah, it looks really good. It's like a, a, a tomato sauce. It looks good. It looks really good. All right, let's see how it is. So in my in my snapper dish, there's other seafood. So there's, I think this is squid. Yeah. Like calamari rings, right? Yeah. I've never had this where it's not chewy. This is tender. Like I think this is cooked the way that it's supposed to be cooked, and it's not chewy at all. It's really good. Nice. It's so interesting to have something cooked the right way. Yeah. It's good. I like this a lot. For my steak, number one. It's delicious. So as for the as for the steak, it is delicious, number one. Number two, if you can get, or like any section, I guess all of them come with this, but any section that has the uh, fat on it is just so 
juicy, and melt in your mouth delicious. And I wish the entire steak was made up of that. So my steak is really good. The only thing that I'm noticing is that there's one specific seasoning on here, and I think it's fennel seed, that is kind of overpowering the flavor of the steak. Do you think it was in the butter? Mm, I don't know. Like it was an herb butter, maybe? Maybe. I really liked it. I didn't think that the flavor was overpowering, so I feel like it could also be just a taste thing. I'd like to take a moment to talk about how... To sit right here and tell you how I became the prince of a town called Bel Air. The steak was the star of the show. Yeah. But these french fries, these steak frites, are so good. They almost taste like they were battered in like what a donut would be battered in. They had a very donutty taste. They're just, these are delicious. I don't know, but do you know what I mean? Like, uh, not sweet, but not, I wish I could explain what I meant. It's like the fry smell, like yeah. the, the oil smell almost smells sweet. Yeah. But it's not a bad thing. It's really good because the, the fries are salty. Yeah. I don't know, I love it. They're really good. Yeah, this was so good. The, the fish was so flaky and just tender and delicious. And that calamari, I've never, like I said, I've never had calamari that wasn't like rubbery. So it was interesting to try it cooked right for the first time ever in my life. For the first time. <laughs> I was this many days old when I had calamari cooked perfectly for the first time. Oh yeah, you're one day older now. Thank you, Wolfgang. Yesterday was your birthday. Oh yeah, you, oh my gosh, yeah. Happy birthday. Thank you. So for dessert, we got the key lime creme brulee and it looks amazing. It's like a super wide creme brulee that has all this candy coating on the top. Crack it. This is all candy coating. And it smells so good. It smells yeah. just very citrusy and delicious. And they said this is a homemade whipped cream. Oh, should I do it? Yeah, give it a crack. Oh yeah, look at that. Wow. It's like super thin too. Yeah. Oh, it's, I like that. Do you smell the lime? Yeah, oh yeah. It's so limey. You didn't even want any dessert. What are you, you're the first one to eat it. Is it so good? Really good. I love key lime. Wow. Yeah? That's really good. Yeah. I will say this, when what? I first brought it up to my nose, it kind of smelled like a Glade plug-in. Oh no. That's good. It is very fragrant. Oh. I kind of felt like the um, the crisp, the whatever the sugar crisp was, almost had a tart flavor. And that would make sense because this is a key lime cream that they just burn the top. Oh, of, gotcha. Like sugar on the top. Yeah. Okay, so we both just had a little epiphany that it almost tastes like Fruit Loops. It's like or fruity pebbles. I feel like I got a more of a Fruit Loopy flavor. You should try it with some of the whipped cream because that that's where the fruit fruity pebbles come from. Yeah. So I asked if they do the annual pass discount when she was like getting ready to bring out our bill. And she's like, we don't do an annual pass discount, but what we do do for annual pass holders is you get a free scoop of gelato per person per pass holder, and it's like. I wish we had known that before we ordered our dessert. Well, but I feel like our dessert was better than just a scoop of gelato, right? True. Yeah. They said you could choose from vanilla, chocolate, or caramel. Wanted to show you guys the final tally of our food for today. Pretty darn expensive for two people, but it was very, very delicious. Very delicious. I think this would be a nice, like a special occasion meal, you know, just like celebrating something like my birthday. This is kind of like, cause we didn't get to go out for my birthday yesterday. This is sort of like my birthday dinner. I just wanted to show you guys the bar area. It's very nice, it's a full bar. And then we're right next to the pizza making station. I like that they have like a little display here. Ooh, yeah, like somebody's focaccia. I cannot stress how delicious that was. Oh, I thought you were gonna be like, I cannot. I just cannot. <laughs> that was so good. It was really good. I'm kind of blown away by, especially the new restaurants that are mm -hmm. here in Disney Springs. When they first announced that Disney Springs was becoming, that downtown Disney was becoming Disney Springs. A lot of people were very upset. I, I was too, like yeah. Disney's, Dis, I can't even remember. Downtown <laughs> Disney was like where it was at when yeah. we were younger. Mm -hmm. I'm glad that it's Disney Springs now. I love it. It feels like we're we're a little bit older, so I feel like this is kind of like our downtown. Yeah. You know, like it's a little bit less rowdy yeah. than downtown Orlando. It's a little bit less hectic. 
but it's it's more I don't know it's fun like yeah. the live music is really fun there was a crowd of people that was really fun it was families all ages yeah delicious food yeah that Wolfgang Puck's uh, bar and grill <laughs> I'm so glad that that opened I, I really, wasn't sure because I didn't I've never had Wolfgang Puck's before there was another Wolfgang Puck's like here a, that like closed down yeah I think we ate there did we? I feel like we had pizza there or something. Okay. Yeah, I'd yeah. have to look back in a video and try to find it, but I, I feel like we did eat there at least one time. Yeah. But I will say that this new Wolfgang Pucks is much more, I don't know, it's just a nicer feel. So I've got two favorite restaurants at Disney Springs. <laughs> okay. Homecoming mm -hmm. and Boathouse. Mm -hmm. And now I'm throwing in this one yeah. as another favorite. We'll definitely come back and try it again though, because this was our first impression. So we'll come back and we'll eat here again. Yeah. And I'm sure it'll be just as delicious, but we'll, we'll do it again for science oh my belly is sticking out so much right now because i am so full. full but with that being said we are off and we will see you guys tomorrow i want to say hi to my kids angelica stephanie and kendra and now it's time to pay the price